Once thought of as a secret beach, more people are finding Osain Beach every day. You can see it from beautiful Nyharn Beach, but in order to get here, you will have to cut through the Nyharn Resort, traverse some old steep roads, and walk down a steep gravel-filled hill to get there. Wanting to experience the offshore snorkeling Osain Beach is known for, we hopped on our motorbike and set out on the 20-minute ride determined to find Osain. On the way, we passed through Shalong Circle, cruised by Rahway Beach, Nyharn Beach, and finally found the secret road leading to Osain. Walking down the steep hill leading to the beach, your senses become bombarded as you begin to experience the amazing vibe of Osain. The beach is more rocky than sandy and has large rocks pushing up out of the water. You can see hills in the distance, the ocean going on forever, and the feel of cool ocean breeze on your skin. The cicadas are singing their song at full volume. You can smell the ocean mixed with a faint hint of seafood being cooked at the small restaurant at one end of the beach. Shortly after arriving, we set up our spot on the beach, put on our snorkeling gear, and headed into the water. This was the best offshore snorkeling we've ever done. The water remains relatively shallow, and the ocean floor is covered with rocks and corals, an endless variety of beautiful, colorful, striped fish everywhere. We saw Moorish idlefish, sergeant major fish, clown anemone, rainbow parrotfish, powder blue surgeon fish, and some really cool blue starfish. After snorkeling, swimming, and chilling on the beach, we decided to have lunch at Osain Restaurant. It's a little restaurant right on the beach. Although they didn't have everything on the menu available, they did have some great recommendations of what they did have, and so we went with that. I have a spicy chicken salad. Got some spicy chicken, some cilantro, some onions, some green onions, a little bit of cucumber on the side. And some rice. And some rice. Give it a try here. Get some cilantro in. That was good. I don't know what spices they mix in this stuff here, but I really like the spicy chicken salads that we've had. It's got uh, cilantro and some chili and garlic and the onions and maybe a little bit of ginger i'm not sure it's good i have got a seafood plate i'm not exactly sure what everything is that's on here and there's some crunchy something on top of some crunchy crunchy breading maybe on top of it that's just kind of separate looks delicious the plate's got a nice flour on it um can't wait to give it a try I don't know what this is, but it looks good. Still don't know what that is. It was some kind of really tasty seafood. And uh, with that kind of crunchy breading sitting on top of it, that's amazing. It's really cool. It's really cool. You can just sit literally on the beach after a day of snorkeling and enjoy a really, a really tasty meal. So I'm going to enjoy this. That was delicious and really spicy. My tongue is tingly. I drank all of my pineapple juice and most of the water that we had left and ate the larger portion of rice and all the cucumbers just to try to tame the spice. Still really good. And there is something nice about intense spice on a hot day. So I liked it. It was absolutely delicious. And I think that we figured out that it was a mixture of clam and prawns, otherwise known as shrimp and fish and maybe some uh, octopus or squid I'm not exactly sure but it was 
every bite was absolutely fabulous and I tried a little of yours too and now my mouth is on fire um, and so it was a great meal. It was truly a wonderful way to spend a day. The vibe at Osain is really laid back. The snorkeling was amazing. The food was a treat. Today was a good day. If you like what you see in this video, please feel free to head over to our channel and check out some of our other content. We'd love it if you would subscribe, like, and comment on any of the videos. Let me know what you think.